Hi, welcome back to Growing Up Catholic Dash His Loving Touch. I'm Elaine. Um, I'm kind of, I haven't been on for a little while because I've been pretty sick with kidney stone attacks. And then I got a, an infection and um, such is life. This too will pass, and it did. <laughs> now I'm just kind of dealing with a sinus infection. So I want to lighten my stories now. I mean, we've dealt with the devil and situations like that. I have many other stories I could tell, and I probably will in the future. But Today, I'm going to talk about angels. My first, well, not my first experience, but one of my experiences was when my daughter was very ill. And I had to go to work, and I always visited or, you know, went to this, the regular service station in my town and it was on my way to work and I I knew um, pretty much the employees there it was a time when you would sit in the car they would come out you know give you pump your gas wash your windshields and do a little talking so we were, we all knew each other. But this one day when I went, there was this new guy. He was an older man. And I saw him coming around the car. And I rolled down my window. And he just said, you know, um, can I help you? And I turned to look at him. And I, I can't even begin to tell you how I felt. I felt like there was a presence of God emanating from him. His eyes were the bluest blue I've ever seen. And it was just an ordinary older man and but he just you know he just looked at me and I thought I, I was speechless actually like I am now because as I remember it my whole being my soul my spirit sensed and a peace and a beauty. I felt like my life was being changed just by this man looking at me. I was sort of drawn in to his eyes and his smile and, and it was probably just seconds, but I was changed. So he got my gas, he did my windshields, and I'm just sitting in my car thinking, <clears throat> who is this man? And why do I feel this way? So I, le I paid and then I left. And as I got down a long road, I kind of pulled over and I started crying. And I thought, you know, what, what just happened? I'd never seen this man before. The beauty that emanated from him, I I can only say was heavenly. 
And I just thought, is he an angel? Was he there to just show me the presence of God? I didn't know. I just knew that it impacted my life. And the next time I went to the gas station, he was there, but he didn't, um, he didn't serve me at that time. So I asked the attendant that was serving me and I said, how long has that man worked here? <clears throat> he said, not long, not long at all. And um, I said, okay, uh, is he from our area? He said, well, really, I don't know where he's from. <clears throat> he just showed up one day and asked if we needed somebody to hire. <clears throat> and the owner hired him. And uh, the next time I went, and I went, probably every week, <clears throat> he was gone. <clears throat> Sorry. So I thought for sure he was an angel. And I mean, to this day, I was in my early 30s. So 35 years, somewhere around a little over 30 years. After that continues to impact me. I I really believe he was an angel because I've never felt that way before. And uh, it, it was beautiful. I, I, you know, how do I explain it to you? So that was, for me, a, an angelic um, meeting. And it gave me hope and peace and I felt loved and joy. It was just amazing. Not unlike my daughter, and I think I've told this story before, um, Mary, with all her illnesses and seizures, um, she had gone downstairs to do the wash, which I didn't ask her to do, but she did. She was around 11, 12 years old. And I was sitting at the table cutting, peeling potatoes and she came running up, mom, mom, mom. And she was crying. <clears throat> I said, what? She said, I saw an angel. And I just kind of looked at her and she said, I saw an angel, mom. He was standing right beside the dryer and he reached out and he touched my head. And I mean, I know something happened because um, of the way she was so impacted by it. It wasn't until just recently in the last few months when we were talking about death. And Mary said to me, you know, we started talking about the angel and she said, you know, mom, she said from that moment on, I wasn't afraid to die. That that moment with the angel and the angel touching my head, she said, I felt the beauty. I felt so good. I felt like God was there. And she said, and I know when I die, um, I will have that same feelings. No worries, no wor fears, 
nothing, just pure love and peace and joy. Hmm. And I understood that feeling because I too had experienced it. So I'll leave you with one more story. Uh, these were friends of ours and they were she was driving and uh, her daughter was in the back seat of the car and um, it was a busy street with lots of um, tractor trailers and one of the trailers um, the truck 18 wheeler had a whole bunch of um, I don't know if they were logs but they were I'm pretty sure they were logs and she was behind it and she was contemplating uh, passing it because it was slow and as she decided well I'm gonna pass it this car came right up next to her and the person driving motioned to her roll down your window and so she did and he said do not pass that truck and she just you know said what he said don't pass the truck and it was just such an intense um, knowledge and that she dare not you know pass that truck and the guy moved on and um as he moved, all the logs came loose and fell. And if she had been passing that truck, it would have fallen on her car and killed her daughter and her. And so she thought, well, did this guy know what? And, I mean, there was no knowledge that anything was slipping. She said those logs were tightly, or thought she was, they were tightly tied to the truck. And everybody stopped. And, you know, on the other side, she was asking people because she got out of the car. Uh, about this one car that went by and they you know they had said they hadn't heard anything they hadn't seen a car like that and um, and she knew that because everybody stopped in front of the truck too and so she knew that that car must be there um, but it wasn't it was just nowhere to be seen. So she, she said she just felt the presence of God when he was telling her not to pass that truck. And she truly believes it was an angel. Um, so, you know, sometimes well, angels do walk among us. I believe that with all my heart. In the Old Testament, God always sent angels. I don't know if you've ever watched the show um, Touched by an Angel. I think it was in the 80s. 1980s. I'm not sure, but it's called Touched by an Angel. And it's full of stories of you know people needing help and God sends an angel to them and touches their lives well that's how I felt I felt that an angel touched my life my daughter felt the same way and our friend felt the same way that God sent an angel 
to keep her safe. We don't know when an angel, you know, comes into our life. It's just not, you know, oh. But I do know that when an angel touches your life, you know it. You know it. You feel it. And you feel that presence of God's love. So um, I'm going to end it here. And so just remember that there are angels. I mean, everybody has a garden angel. And I believe that 100% with all my heart. And oh, just one more little story. We lived, our house had like a basement and we had put a door, a folding door. Uh, it go went from the kitchen to the basement. So we always kept that door closed because our youngest child, Adam, um, just, you know, to keep him safe. Well, on that day, I had his high chair um, at the end of the table and the door was right there. And I was at the kitchen sink grabbing something and I turned around and I saw Adam put his little foot on the table and it starting, started going backwards. And I noticed that the door was open and I thought, oh my gosh, he's gonna go right down those stairs in his high chair head first. And as I, uh, it all happened so fast, but as I was watching it, it was like an angel was holding that high chair and gently put it on the floor. There was, there was no way that could happen. No way. I mean, that high chair should have gone down the stairs with Adam in it, but it didn't. And something slowed that process. I mean, like, slowly put the high chair on the floor and Adam stayed in place. An angel? I think so. So, um, I sure would like to hear if you've had any experiences with the, with angels. And if you too have felt an angel in your life, and I mean the presence of God's love through that angel. You know you've been touched by heaven, by a heavenly host. So I'm going to finish now. Um, I'm just going to say God bless you. Thank you for watching. Um, sorry this has taken so long. And please comment if you had an experience with an angel or if you want to question me or anything and you know if you so desires to subscribe to my channel and uh, God bless you thank you for watching and I'll post another one next week God bless you bye